What is going on people? It's your boy B Monstrosity here for my first class setup video on the Union. And basically I just want to make this a series to where I'm coming out with a uh, new class setup video maybe every two weeks, maybe even every week, just depending on how busy I am. But just to uh, give you guys some stuff to check out, uh, different gun attachments and, and whatnot and so forth. So. Uh, today we're going to keep it relatively simple. These are three classes that I use on a regular basis. And whenever you get into looking at these classes, you'll notice that I am very perk heavy on it. I always use uh, perk 1 greed and perk 3 greed. And the reason I don't use secondaries or, or tacticals or lethals is that, okay, as far as the secondary goes, um, picking up an enemy's weapon is a lot better than running around with a pistol. Now don't get me wrong, I love running around with a pistol too, but I have a specific class set up for that. So if you just pick up an enemy's weapon, chances are you're going to get a submachine gun or an assault rifle, and that's generally better than having a pistol as your secondary. Uh, the launchers. Uh, I'm not crazy about launchers at all because it takes forever to aim up in the sky for a UAV, and you're not necessarily going to aim up in the sky and shoot down a hunter killer drone unless you are a rocket launcher badass. So I'd much rather prefer having blind eye on. Um, as the tactical grenades, uh, you take a chance in throwing it out there whether you're going to hit somebody or not. So I'd much rather have the perks working for me at all times. Same way with the lethal grenades. You take a chance throwing it out there. You might not kill anybody. You might kill somebody, but you might not. Um, as far as the claymores and bouncing beddies go, the bouncing beddies, if you don't know already, you could just duck down and get below them and they won't kill you. Um, Claymores are a little bit more devastating if you run around a corner and you, you trigger a claymore. Uh, chances are you're going to die from it. Unless you have engineer on, you'll be able to see where the claymores and the uh, bouncing beddies are. Now, a lot of people think that even if they get their bouncing betty and claymore destroyed, then they will still know where the enemy's at. But it works in the reverse effect also. So if I see somebody put a bouncing betty at the bottom of a staircase, chances are they're at the top of the staircase. So as soon as I destroy the bouncing betty, I could be aiming in on the top of that staircase and potentially kill the enemy. All right, so let's go ahead and hop into these classes here. My first class is the chi -com or chi -com or shi -com or however the hell you want to say it with the silencer and the red dot sight. And of course you notice here uh, all these classes have perk 1 greed and perk 3 greed on it. Uh, perk 1 I have ghost and blind eye. Uh, perk 2 I have cold blooded which in my opinion is the only second tier perk that you need. Um, the only other one I could possibly see is scavenger but I would rather just pick up an enemy's weapon and keep on trucking. Um, as far as perk 3 goes I got dexterity which I use on all of my classes. Dexterity period. And then I have Engineer. So basically, this is what I call my Ninja class setup. It basically protects me from just about everything that an enemy can uh, can throw at me. I got Ghost for UAVs. I got Blind Eye for air support and those pesky Hunter Killer drones. Ghost. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Um, then I got Cold Blooded to keep me off of the target finders. Then I got Dexterity pull up sight quick. And then I got Engineer for them pesky little damn uh, Bouncing Bettys and Claymores and Century Guns and, and all of that shit. So basically, uh, everybody should really have a class like this. that You're protected from every damn thing. Another thing about this class, you have to have a silencer on or else whenever you fi fire your gun and the enemy has a UAV up in the air, you're still going to show up as a red dot on, the UA on their UAV. Okay, so make sure no matter what gun you put into this class... If you try it out, make sure it has a silencer on it, okay? But I just like the Chi-Com CQB because it, it is also a very good uh, submachine gun at long ranges. So just be sure to double tap the trigger whenever you're firing at, at somebody at long range, maybe even triple tap. So pull that trigger multiple times, and they should drop pretty easily. All right, let's move along to my second class here. I got the PDW with the silencer and quick draw grip. And basically, this is my class that, um, this is my whoop your ass class, okay? I got ghost on it, I got hardline on it to get them kill streaks a lot faster. And of course, cold blood, of course, dexterity, and then I have the engineer again. So basically, I'm covered with everything on here except for uh, enemy air support. And the whole idea behind having hardline is, is that the, the whole idea behind having hardline 
is that I can get my kill streaks up quicker than the enemies can theirs. And, um, and generally, uh, it works out pretty damn decent. Okay, so let's move along to my last uh, class setup and my personal favorite. You got the Vector with the Fast Mag and the Quick Draw Grip. Then you have Hardline, Lightweight, of course Cold-Blooded, of course Dexterity, and then I have Extreme Conditioning on this class. And basically, Extreme Conditioning plus Lightweight equals a shitload of fun, not to mention being able to stick and move like a champ. Basically, I use this uh, class setup on the smaller maps or even the medium-sized maps to where um, you can constantly run from cover to cover. And um, basically, the idea behind this class setup is that I'm going to constantly be up in the enemy's face and hopefully uh, keep them from tossing up air support. And believe it or not, I've had great success with this class setup. Like I said, it works really well on the smaller maps, like the map with the boat, I forget what the name of it is. And that's the reason why it has the fast mag on it. So fast mag is definitely, if you're running lightweight and extreme conditioning on a smaller map, you really want to have that fast mag there. You don't want to be caught slipping, uh, switching out your mag whenever you're on a kill streak. But I love this class setup. It really suits me to a T. Uh, it allows me to be as quick as I want and... Uh, constantly pound the enemy over and over and over again and um, I actually got uh, dogs in a swarm with this recently which you'll get to see that video coming up pretty soon but for right now that is the end of uh, my class uh, setups part one okay stay tuned for part two be sure to like and subscribe to this channel so we can get this hardcore community channel rolling and uh, I will check you guys next time. Peace out.